If this video gets 20,000 views, I'm going to get Bat Cow tattooed on my back. What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James of Mint Hunter Comics, and I just got the cutest little baby girl dog in the entire universe. Hey, buddy, you're about to have a sister. And it inspired me to want to make a video about the best pets in comic books. This list is derived from Kevin Schaefer's article from CBR.com, the top 15 coolest pets in comic books, and I added a few more of my own. I'll include a link if you're interested. Let's get our number one with Jumpa. In the Golden Age, Wonder Woman had a giant kangaroo that rode her to the moon. And that's really the only sentence that this entry needs, don't you think? Next up, Deuce. In the 90s, Foggy Nelson decided to adopt a retired police seeing eye dog for Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. Matt found it very offensive, so Deuce spent all his time with Foggy, once even saving his life from a gunman. Until Foggy got drunk and lost Deuce in a poker game, I always liked the lighter toned Daredevil stories, and Deuce fits that pocket perfectly. Next up, we got Purple Dragon Lockheed. You knew it would be on here. When the X-Men were kidnapped by an alien species called the Brood, Kitty Pride met Lockheed. She immediately became protective of him due to his resemblance to a creature in a fairy tale she told Magic hours before. He became a stowaway, and his presence as Kitty's pet was accepted by the rest of the team. During Secret Wars, Lockheed met another similar creature named Puff, and the two had children together. That's a lot of character development put into this mutant's pet purple dragon. Guys, don't forget the 12,000 subscriber giveaways coming up. It's going to be a PS5. Next up, we got Itty. Itty is that weird little alien starfish, no, not Starro, that Hal Jordan found in space and kept on his shoulder for a while. Eventually, Itty did evolve into a dude. However, that doesn't stop the fact that the 70s Green Lantern spent his time talking to a starfish on his shoulder. Gotta love hokiness in comics. For Green Lantern, this isn't even that weird. Next up, Red Wing. In the MCU, Red Wing's just a drone, but in the comics, Sam Wilson can actually talk to birds. Yeah, this version of Red Wing is a real live falcon that Sam befriended and trained and eventually gained a link with, allowing him to see through Red Wing's eyes. Obviously, the MCU made it more sense for it to be a drone. And apparently, the real Red Wing is part vampire? Dope. Lockjaw is a giant teleporting dog owned by the Inhumans. He's the escort and transportation services of the Inhuman royal family. Lockjaw's big, disgusting, and slobbery and has the ability to teleport great distances, even across dimensions, if he wishes to. He's one of the founding members of the Pet Avengers, along with a lot of the entries on this list. Next up, we got Stinky. In the Silver Age, Supergirl had Streaky, the super cat. Well, Power Girl, her doppelganger, had Stinky. Stinky was not well behaved or heroic. He terrorized the Justice League International and occasionally fought aliens. Power Girl would go on to owning plenty of cats in various continuities, but no cat ever quite lived up to the hilariously terrible first trash pet, Stinky. Next up, Jonathan. Laura Kinney is a clone of Wolverine, and after his death, she became the quote-unquote all-new Wolverine. Gabby Kinney is a clone of Laura Kinney. Jonathan Kinney is a regular Wolverine who lives with them. He was rescued from an animal testing lab by Squirrel Girl, who promptly brought him to Laura on the assumption that she could talk to Wolverines. She can't. And Gabby insisted they keep him. Next up, Topo. Did you know that Aquaman has a pet octopus named Topo who can play the double bass and banjo? I think the octopus playing the drums in the Aquaman movie might have been a nod or maybe a full out Easter egg to Topo. Maybe it was him. Next up, Gleek is the monkey sidekick of Zan and Jaina, also known as the Wonder Twins. He is the only character on this list not to debut in a comic book as he first appeared in Super Friends. He has the powers of elasticity and is often seen flying with the twins to their next adventure. Devil Dinosaur is a dinosaur. You got it. Devil Dinosaur is from a different Earth who is larger, faster, and more intelligent than a normal T-Rex and originally shared a psychic link with a Neanderthal named Moon Boy. He now can switch bodies with Luna Lafayette, aka Moon Girl, one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe. Bat Cow is the first member of the Batman family on this list and is Damien's pet. Bat Cow was rescued by Batman and Robin from a slaughterhouse after she was infected by a group of criminals. The Waynes adopted her, gave her a mask, and she lives on property. She was last seen fighting a bull named Laffa, who was clearly made up to look like the Joker. A quick reminder if this video gets to 20,000 views, I don't think it will, 
But if it does, I'm getting a tattoo of Bat Cow on my back. Moving back into the Marvel Universe, the first dinosaur on the list belongs to Runaways member Gert Yorks. Old Lace was created in the 87th century by Gert's parents and shares a bond with the team. Old Lace's psychic link is eventually transferred to Gert's boyfriend, Chase. This dinosaur is also one of the only pets on this list to have a live action appearance, as she is a supporting character in Runaways, the MCU television show based on the comic of the same name. Next up, we got Dex Star. Get it, Dexter? Member of the Red Lantern Corps and is often seen at the side of Atrocitus, the Corps leader. Dexter was a normal house cat whose owner was robbed and murdered. When a group of thugs thought it would be funny to throw him off a bridge, a red lantern ring of anger found its way onto his little paw. He vowed to find and kill the murderers. As if a normal angry cat isn't scary enough, this one spits napalm? Yeah, have I mentioned how much I love Green Lantern lore and the absurdity that gets put into the writing teams? Ace the Bat Hound, a German Shepherd owned by Batman and Robin. He was adopted when his original owner was kidnapped by a gang. Ace wears a mask to conceal his identity. I love it. As Bruce Wayne's dog. During the New 52, Ace was reintroduced as Damien's great hound, Titus. Editors didn't allow the dog to be named Ace, and Titus became the new 52 version of the Bat Hound. In DC Rebirth, Bruce Wayne adopted a German Shepherd named Ace, but when Crypto reformed the Legion of Super Pets, Ace remained sleeping by the fire, confirming Titus is the new Bat Hound. Next up, Zabu is a saber-toothed tiger that's a resident of the Savage Land. He discovered a young boy named Kevin Plunder, and the two grew up together against the wild. Kevin took on the name Kazar and became the defender of the Savage Land. In a Spider-Man one-shot, Peter comforted Zabu by taking him to the Museum of Natural History and seeing the other saber-toothed tiger displays. He's now a member of the Pet Avengers. Chewie is a fierce flurkin, we would know it as cat, and rare breed who uses their dimensional gateway capabilities to protect her family from foes, including her owner, Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel. Originally on Earth 58163, Chewie the Flurkin Cat is displaced to our Earth, where she becomes Carol Danvers' pet. She also does have a live-action debut. Amperstan appears in Why the Last Man. Amperstan is a monkey owned by Yorick Brown who lives in a world wiped out by a plague. Amperstan and Yorick are the only male mammals left on Earth, and the two share a close bond. It's later revealed that Ampersand is a mutated creature, and his relationship with Yor is actually the reason the two survived. Watchmen is often praised as one of the best books of all time, so it's no surprise that Ozymandias' main pet of the series ranks so high. Boo Bastis. She's a mutated lynx genetically engineered to be the loyal companion to Adrian, Ozymandias. During the climax, Boo Bastis is vaporized by her owner in an attempt to kill Dr. Manhattan, but fails. Adrian Veidt, Ozymandias, clones Bubastis and discovers the DNA has been merged with Dr. Manhattan, leading the now baby Lynx to have similar powers. Through the pages of Doomsday Clock, Bubastis 2 is used as a compass to locate Dr. Manhattan. I love DC. Cosmo. During the Cold War, the United States and the USSR were racing to see who could accomplish space travel first. Cosmo was a Soviet golden retriever sent into the space on a rocket ship. As he drifted through space, Cosmo was mutated and gained telekinetic abilities. He's now the head of security at Nowhere and is a close ally of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmo is seen briefly in the Collector's Collection in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie and post credit scene. Next up, we have to mention Lucky, aka Pizza Dog. And when I'm recording this video, Lucky's in the Hawkeye show. There are only four episodes that have aired thus far, but I think we're going to see a lot more of him. Fun fact, do you know one of my favorite comic books ever features a noir-style thriller tale told from the perspective of Lucky? Yeah, just Google it. It's one of the best things you can read. And finally, the obvious choice. We gotta go with Crypto, the Dog of Steel, an ever-loyal companion to the Superman family ever since the destruction of Krypton. Powered by the Yellow Sun's rays, Crypto shares all of the abilities as his best friend, and the two are often together just like any other man and his dog. They fly through the air, play fetch on Mars, and go on walks on the moon. Superman is meant to be the perfect man, so of course, he has to have a perfect companion. And that's the list. Don't forget to enjoy your pets, and as always, guys, keep on hunting.